All right, so obviously I'm a little bit late to this, and honestly, the main reason I'm so late is because I was sleeping. So at this point, I'm sure most of you have already seen the details for the new Int LR Goku and Piccolo that's gonna be dropping on the JP side of the game very soon. But in case you haven't, let me quickly break it down for you in today's video. All right, so the first thing we have here is the official details from the uh, Dokkan Twitter page in Japanese. And there are two different arts because this card actually has a costume change, which is still a very new mechanic in this game. It was initially introduced during the 6th anniversary, right? And then since then, I think we've only had one other unit that does this costume change, and it's the STR Dokkan Fest Videl, if I'm remembering correctly. Maybe there's someone else I forgot, but as far as I can remember, there was the Vegeta, and then there's the Videl who, you know, gets the short hair, and that might be it. So this could potentially be the third costume change unit in the game. Yo, if it's not, I'm sure there's people out there calling me an idiot, being like, yo, dude, there's like 10 of them out there already. What are you talking about? But as far as I can remember right now, this is one of the few. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And we're gonna, of course, talk about what they do. But before we do that, we gotta watch the animations. So here we go. Let me just throw on some headphones. And uh, of course, turn off my own music. There we go. And uh, let's see what it's all about. Here we go. Enjoy. Okay, not too shabby, man. Not too shabby. Now, I can see it already. I haven't seen this out there yet because I haven't really checked social media since I woke up, but people are going to start calling this unit Stripper Goku and, and Piccolo, right? Because in the active skill, Goku takes off the shirt, uh, Piccolo throws away his cape, and um, I, I just can see it, man. It, you know, people love giving nicknames to units, and this is going to be Stripper, Goku, and Piccolo. But uh, pretty cool animations overall, man. Really, really clean. Really nice. Um, I, I think, yeah, I mean, I don't have much else to say about it. Like, it's not the best animations I've seen, but I really like them. I think they did a good job. And that's it. All right. So those are the animations. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them. Um, you know, where would you rank them among, like, all the... LR animations of the game right now, I think I've been a little bit spoiled, right, with like the quality of animations recently within the last like year, year and a half, so unless something is just like crazy, it's not gonna blow me away, but I still think it looks very good. So there you have it, Goku and Piccolo, and uh, of course after they do the active skill and get the costume change, it's still the same animations, it's just, um, you know, with like less clothes. So there you go. Now let's move on to, you probably have guessed it, the homie Goresh's page. Big shout out to him for the translations. And uh, let's get into it. Let me actually uh, take away my webcam again. There we go. So you guys can see the full screen. 
So for the Goku and Piccolo, they are a Int LR, Rivals in Harmony, Leader Skill is Savior's Category key plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 130%, or Int Types key plus 4, HP, Attack and Defense plus 100%. 12 key super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and lowers defense. And the 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. And then for the passive, it's attack and defense plus 120% when launching a super attack. I don't love that. I don't love that. I, I, I just want them to start giving more units you know, attack and defense boosts with no conditions, right? Like not launching a super attack, just attack and defense plus 120% will be great. Because right now, they're not very good in the first slot, right? And that's a problem because it feels like more and more units are just not good in the first slot. Like you can't really trust them to take a hit before they launch a super or launch an attack. And that's a bit of a problem. In my opinion. But anyways, yeah, attack and defense plus 120% when launching a super attack, high chance to launch up to two additional attacks, and gain key plus one, and attack and defense plus 10% for each attack performed. Max of key plus six, and attack and defense plus 59%. And then whenever six or more attacks are performed during battle, perform an additional super attack when HP is 59% or below. And then we have an active skill, which can be activated when six or more attacks have been performed and HP is 59% or, or above once only. And it gives you key plus six and attack and defense plus 59% for one turn. And of course, the costume change um, happens when the active skill is used. So uh, great active skill condition is not too bad either, especially considering the fact that they do have a high chance to launch up to two additional attacks. And if you have some hidden potential investment, then they can potentially launch four attacks in a turn, right? So if you're lucky, then by the second appearance, so like turn three, I guess, um, you could pop the active skill. If you're unlucky, then maybe by the third or fourth appearance. But for the most part, it should be the second or third appearance. So if you get them in the first rotation, then either by turn three or turn five, you should be able to pop that active skill. And of course, key plus six and attack and defense plus 59% is very, very solid. Um, and the passive looks pretty good too. You know, I wish it was just attack and defense plus 120%, not when launching a super attack. But aside from that, yeah, they get up to an additional 59% attack and defense, key plus six, um, and then the additional super after you perform six or more attacks when HP is 59% or below. I mean, would it have been so bad to just give them a guaranteed additional super when you perform six or more attacks? Maybe. Maybe that would have been too too busted. I don't know though, cards are getting really busted these days. I don't feel like the 59% uh, condition is kind of is really necessary, but it is what it is. Um, they seem to be a very solid LR. I'm not gonna say they're busted by any means, but it looks good. It looks good. Um, they're gonna be putting out some pretty top tier damage, some pretty elite damage, I would say. And then of course, defensively, they will be good after you launch a couple of attacks, but of course, there's still gonna be a slot two unit, as in slot one, they don't get that 120% boost to start, so it's um, kinda unfortunate. And then we have the Lynx Infighter, Shocking Speed, Tough as Nails, Experienced Fighter, Solid Support, Gears Battle, and Legendary Power. And the categories are saviors, full power, joint forces, and movie heroes. Of course, when it, whenever it comes to these um, combination units, right, with like characters from different, uh, you know, different races or like just different types of characters, like a Piccolo and a Goku in this case, um, they're not going to be in a lot of categories, right? Because you can't put them in Pure Saiyans, you can't put them in Namekians because there's Goku, there's Piccolo. So they only have four categories at the moment. Um, but it's to be expected, I guess. And the links are also, they're not terrible, I guess, but they are a little bit, you know, a little bit of a mixed bag, I guess. So um, I, I can't really think of like who their best linking partner would be right now, but you probably won't find anybody with like more than four links shared, maybe. I like a Piccolo, actually. 
LR Piccolo, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But um, either way, they look okay, man. They look okay. They look like a very good LR, not a bust LR. Um, I will have to, of course, see them in action, see some calculations before I uh, know for sure. But just on paper, solid. They're very solid. So there you have it, guys. Goku and Piccolo coming to JP very soon. I would assume within the next couple of days. And um, yeah, look forward to them. I guess if you plan to summon, let me know actually in the comments if you do plan to summon or if this is going to be a skip for you. Um, JP, there's no anniversary, but there is the download celebration coming soon, right? We have the worldwide celebration happening in August. So you might want to save your stones for that. These guys look good but I don't know if they're worth spending stones on a legendary summon banner because they are a legendary summon LR, right? So uh, the choice ultimately, of course, is up to you. Let me know what you guys plan to do. And uh, that's it. That's going to be the video. Thank you so much for watching. LR Goku and Piccolo is the next LR. Uh, how do I go back? There we go. I just want to end on the animation here. All right, there we go. Okay, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. You join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.